today let's take up a uh, linked list and uh, we'll do insertion at the end of a linked list. Now I'll take up the program and uh, along with that we'll, uh, I'll explain how the insertion will happen. Now first of all this is the program this is the same the main method is the same as we did for insertion at the beginning of the list. The node the structure node will also be the same. So I'll just go through this uh, code quickly. There is a node here, structure node, which has got one int info and node pointer next. That is pointing to the next node. Now <clears throat> the pointers that we have here are start, new PTR, save, PTR and real. Now in this case, in insertion at end, you have this extra pointer here rear is the pointer which is pointing to the last node like we have start start is pointing to the first node rear is pointing to the last node okay now these are the prototypes of the functions node pointer create new node is the function for creating the new node void insert end this is the function for inserting at the end of the linked list in which we pass node pointer and address void display <coughs> node pointer right the main method initially the linked list is empty so start is equal to rear is equal to null the <coughs> where the linked list is empty there is no first node there is no last node nothing so start rear everything will be equal to null int inf care ch is equal to y this is a loop we have while choice is equal to y. Enter the information for the node. We are getting the information, creating the new node. Press enter to continue. System pause. The system will pause. The user has to press a key and then it will proceed further. New PTR is equal to create new node INF. Okay. Now this is the point where this function create new node is called and whatever information was entered by the user that is passed on to this function. So now I am going to write this function. <coughs> Before that, here the new node is created like this, right? This is the new node. Let's give some address to this node. This is actually your new PTR, right? <coughs> okay. Now, the function create new node, node pointer, create. The create new node function will be the same whether it is insertion at the beginning, insertion at the end, right? So, there is no change in that. PTR is equal to new node we are creating a new node here ptr there are two parts of this uh, node one is info and one is <coughs> the next pointer ptr info is equal to n that is the information that has come here into this function this is int n and ptr next is equal to null ptr next is equal to null and then we say return ptr this is the function so basically uh, we are creating the new node as i created here it's got an address and uh, the user whatever the you it's the integer information so let's say the user enters 34 for information and this will be null like this right okay then once this is done PTR next is equal to run, uh, null. It returns the PTR, the address. Now it goes back to this place. New PTR is equal to create new node from where we call this function. So this return PTR, this PTR is returned to this new PTR now. So a new node is created. Now we check <coughs> if new PT. <coughs> Sorry, if new PTR not equal to null, 
then that means the new node has been created else it cannot create the new node and it exits from the system right okay now after that insertion of this node at the end of the list now see we are calling this function insert end and what are we passing inside this the node that has been created that is the new ptr okay now i'm going to write the function for insertion at the end of the list okay now see void insert end and here this new ptr is a pointer so we take it as empty here okay first of all we check if start equal to equal to null in that case we put start is equal to rear is equal to np right else we say rear next is equal to np and rear is equal to np that's it here i close the function okay now in our case the link list was empty in the beginning there was nothing this is the new node that is created so i say suppose this is start start is now null it doesn't contain anything because the link list is not yet created right same way i have a pointer here which is rear right <clears throat> so let's say this is rear and this is start right as of now start has null and rear also has null right now we check if start is equal to equal to null if start is equal to equal to null what do you do you say start is equal to rear is equal to np so basically what is np np is the address of the new node right so we are basically saying start is equal to rear is equal to this 1011 so now what happens this null and this null is removed and here we get the address as 1011 and this is 1011 so now you see that the link list is created now start is pointing to this node like this and rear is also pointing to this node correct fine now the first node has been created now now we will create one more node let's say right so as of as of now i'll remove this new ptr from here now i'm going to create one more node here now this is my new node right and i pass uh, some information into this so let's say this is 78 and whenever we create a new node the next of the new node is always null right now this new node has to be linked to this list and we are doing insertion at the end of the list so this has to come at the end that is after this one right now let's take the second condition here if start is equal to equal to null in our case now start is not equal to null so we will come to the else part what do we do in else else rear next is equal to np and rear is equal to np there are two steps in this right rear next is equal to np now what is rear rear is 1011 so 1011 rear <clears throat> is 1011 and we are writing rear next is equal to np what is np np see this uh, this new ptr 
whenever we create a new node right and I call this function here uh, this one insert n new PTR right this uh, function so new PTR that is the address of the new node so in this case let's say the address of the new node is uh, let's put some address here 1099 right this is your new PTR and this new PTR when it goes to that function insert uh, end it goes as NP right so NP is basically what NP is basically 1099 right rear next is equal to NP what does that mean that means 1011 next is equal to 1099 so here this is 1011 and this is the next of 1011 uh, one, one. so I'll delete this null from here and we will put the address 1099 okay now the next statement was rear is equal to NP okay so rear is equal to NP now rear is equal to what is NP 1099 so rear is here so this 1011 becomes 1099 now you see that the link has to be link is recreated right so now what happens 1011 this is start is pointing to this this is fine but 1011's next is 1099 so now the link is like this right so this link this link is gone okay now after new PTR this uh, this one this link is made rear is equal to NP we said so rear is having what rear is having one zero double nine so basically rear is also pointing to this this is the last element whenever you have <coughs> null in the next pointer of any element that is the last element right so this way the insertion at the end is done now let's go back to that program once the insertion is done here <coughs> we did this insert end new PTR right after that we have to display the new uh, list now the list is display start so now we write the display function here void display node pointer np right that is start np is now what np is start because display is being called here with start so this start becomes np here right while np not equal to null that means while the linked list is not null till it becomes empty right okay see out np info that is the information part <coughs> and then uh, If you want, you can put it on the same line or you can put an end in whatever way you want, right? And then you say np is equal to np next, right? The display function is again the same as you did for insertion in the beginning, right? After this, you can give a C out end in, and then this function can be closed, right? So the after the insertion, the linked list is displayed. So start means it will start from this one zero one one. It will display one zero one one. Then NP will become NP next. So that is one zero double nine. So it will come here. Once it comes here then next of this is null so the loop will end right then again going back to the main method 
press Y to enter more nodes. So if the user wants to enter more nodes, he can press Y and we can go back to that loop of the main method file choice is equal to Y. Right? Then create one more node and that node will again be inserted in the same manner as this. Right? So this is how insertion at the end of the linked list is done. So with that, I'll come to the end of this session. Bye.